Hi, my name is Dustin, and today on The Barrel, Akintoshin Three Wood Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Akintoshin. Now that is a word that I don't know what means, but it sounds cool. And any bottle that has multiple woods involved, I want it. So this is a lowland scotch. This is uh, intriguing because it is finished in three different types of casks. Um, that being your regular old oak casks and Oloroso sherry and Pedro Jimenez sherry. I don't know if they aid in all three of those all at once and then blend them together or if they have a spirit and, and go one into the next and into the next. But either way, it sounds great. So let's dive into the bottle here. Nice, simple presentation, very dark, which sets me up to think that we're gonna, we're gonna have some deep, deep flavors. So on the front, Akintoshin single malt scotch whiskey, three wood, rich and elegant. Two words you only hear from your great aunt. 43% alcohol by volume. And on the back, anything interesting, you're holding one of the only triple distilled single malt scotch whiskeys. Are you kidding me? We've been crafting Akintoshin in the city since 1823. 1823. I was four. So, so it's got the phonetic pronunciation on the back here. Akintoshin, not Akintoshin, like I've been saying since I've been born, like an idiot. Let it roll off your tongue. Oh, I will. Uh, but before I do, if you wouldn't uh, mind subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, maybe leave a like if you've enjoyed this video or other videos, and uh, a dislike if you think this is the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. And uh, comment down below your thoughts on this whiskey or any other whiskey or a whiskey that you want me to review in the future. Really helps grow the channel. I'm trying to gain five more subscribers by the end of the year. So if we can work towards that together. All right. Ah, classic. Oh, a little bit. Oh, I can already tell by the way that that landed in the glass that this is going to be a nice viscous mouthfeel. If my wife were here, she would be like, don't say viscous mouthfeel. And I'd be like, you're a viscous mouth. Okay. <laughs> Looking at the color here, beautiful. I love this. Just dark, nice and viscous. Oh, I can already smell that this is gonna be a really nice nose. All right, let's see what it smells like, eh? I turned Canadian there for a second. I mean, I am close to Canada, but more on brand for me would be like, oh, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, yeah, that's dark, rich, roasted malt. I just thought of like walking through um, like a leather coat store or like, I don't even know if they have those anymore. There used to be a store in a mall uh, here near me that just sold leather coats and like leather boots maybe too, but it's like walking, walking through just fresh, fresh leather. Oh, there was a little bit, of, like a little bit of like cinnamon there for some reason. Wasn't expecting that. I'm trying to pick out, there's some fruitiness in here and I'm trying to pick out what those fruits would be. Certainly not anything citrusy, uh, not really anything bright. This is probably your more raisin dried, you know, cranberries. There's a tiny little bit, almost like a dark cherry even which normally you would get out of a, a kind of an old bourbon, but I'm giving, I'm, getting, I'm giving some of that away here. I'm getting some of that here. Awesome, excited to try it. Cheers. Love that. Sweet, dark honey, then goes into your, your roasted malt, and then some, some of those dark, uh, almost like a, like a date, dried dark fruits come in after that. 
not of like what I would describe as creaminess or vanilla in this. And then after that, that like that sort of leather and tobacco also joins the, the party. Oh man, that's really nice. That is dark and dense and everything that I love in scotch. Let's drink it again. Oh, now, now, now some like dark chocolate is coming in at the end there. I think what, what was the uh, sort of intense dark wood that I was describing is now more of a chocolate, like a, cho a chocolate covered, like Luxardo cherry. Chocolate cover one of those. That's what it tastes like. They might as well just put, this tastes like a, a chocolate covered Luxardo cherry. Enjoy, have a great n night. Absolutely wonderful. When this bottle's gone, I will be buying another. This is a go-to if especially, I was gonna say especially in the fall, but even, I mean, year round, this is a good like night drink. This is a good before bed, you know, you just wanna wind down and relax, sit in a leather chair. You can't sit in a fabric chair, okay? If you're drinking this, you have to sit in a leather chair. You have to go buy an old leather chair. You can't buy a new one even. You have to go to a thrift store and buy an old one from the 1600s and sit in that and drink this. And I swear to God, you'll have the best night of your life. Okay, maybe not, but you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. Now with the three wood, I don't know that I get any, well, actually, I was gonna say, I don't really get like any berry notes, but I think that's where that cherry is coming from now that I'm thinking with my head and not with my tongue. Yeah, that definitely is what that's that's from. That's that's awesome. Akintoshin three wood. I'm pretty sure this is available generally around. This is a perfect a perfect example of a scotch that is not smoky but embodies like all of my favorite things and like the best things about single malt scotch. A common misconception is that all scotch is smoky. I promise you it is not. There's so many fun and interesting flavors in scotch that are not smoke. This one I will say is flirting with it maybe a little bit because it's just darker and you get that, that, that like I said, that dark dense wood, those dark fruits in there, but I wouldn't say that there's any smoke in this. And I would recommend this to those who maybe want to explore that a little bit, possibly, if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can, if you get this, and then you'll know. And then you'll know. Thanks again for joining me, and uh, tune in next time when I do three backflips and then one front flip. <laughs>